Hey guys, Crystal Otaku here. Today we got two traps that I will not say that I made and you can see in the background my little door. But uh, these are two traps I did not make. Uh, actually my friend told me about it and I asked him if I could make a YouTube video over it. And he completely agreed that I could. He said this could be used in a lot of situations that people have. So basically in this situation, he made a house. So we made a little maze that you have to get into, then get into the house, but I didn't have time to like actually build a house back there. It's pretty much just uh just think there's a house. That over there is the second one that I will be showing you guys cuz I had to build that so I didn't have time, but uh this one is completely normal. All you need is a bunch of stone which is pretty easy to get and a TNT. As you can see, you're probably going to put it like this. I mean, I'm going to put it like this, but you could possibly just do one, and that's it. But I thought I would do the entire thing just to show you guys, you know, how devastating it can be to actually use this. So I thought I'd fill it up when you guys were with me instead of filling it up and showing you guys. And you guys were like, okay, what, what am I doing? So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to have it all the way at the start. If you have enough TNT. If you don't, I'll just tell you where you can place one TNT at. And pretty much, they're may gonna die, maybe not. But it's best if you have a bunch of TNT. So basically, I'm just gonna fill this entire thing up like this. As you can see. So, basically, you're just gonna put stone over it. And, uh, if you, now this is for the people that only have one TNT or so. So TNT takes about, what, three seconds to go off. So basically, if you place a stone pressure plate, you want to have a redstone that goes underneath here. So it's a lot, you know, you know, not that much redstone and then going like that. I mean, I don't know why people would do that. Like, you know, go underneath, put redstone right there, then go under and put it when you could just go over. So basically just put redstone like right here, you know, put the pressure plate, put redstone right there, and then have the TNT right there. Because then when they start, you know, going through here and they run into the pressure, pressure plate, they're, gonna, they're just going to keep on running and kind of stop and wonder what's going on. So I thought that would be the best way to put it. With this, basically what you want to do is you want to have it like this. So when they start running or something. So the only reason you would like it like this is because I'm going to show you guys right here how it's going to be. Basically, let's say you're about to go into the house and you need to get across this. What you're going to do is you're going to start walking or running when you get the hang of it. But most people are going to walk since they don't know where to go. And it's kind of like a maze and they don't know what's happening. So they're going to kind of walk, and if you place it like right here, they're going to notice that as soon as they turn the corner. So what you do is you turn it like that, and they just keep on walking until you get right here, and the TNT would explode, you know. And it's pretty much that wide of a radius, just to put it like that. So pretty much you're hitting a wide radius, and sorry I was in creative for that. But, I mean, as you can see, you're probably going to die anyways. So, back to this one. This one's a very interesting way he showed me. This one is a house trick. Basically, he said it, you want to build a house for, like, people that first get into the world, you know, or people that have already been in the world, and you just build a house and say they can have it. So, with this, pretty much, I'm going to show you guys right here. We're, you're going to need... He says you're going to need a lot of wool for this just to help start it up. And I'm going to show you right here. Basically, you're just going to add some wool. And wool is not that, uh, wool's not that hard to get. So uh, it's pretty easy to actually do this in a way. So what you're going to do is you're just going to like have pressure plates right here at the door. So it looks kind of you know obvious when they walk in. Then what he told me to do is put a dispenser, I should say a dispenser, I don't know why, dispenser right here so it can shoot something out. 
and I'm not gonna tell you guys until we get it. So you're gonna put the wall like this, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stop it right here. The only reason you don't want to put it right here is because you're gonna need a fire charge for this or lava. Fire charge or lava. I am gonna use a fire charge because it's a lot better. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place the fire charge in there and as you can already tell it's gonna have a uh, cool effect. So basically you're just gonna cover this all up make it look uh, make it look normal and I'm gonna show you how it can be in a situation. So basically people are just gonna walk in if they walk in over here then that's okay I guess. Let's just walk right in that. You know, usually people are going to run in, go to their chest, check with everything out, turn around, check this out, and then they're not going to notice anything right off the bat until the flame starts. So I'm going to put a flip. I'm going to put that back right there. And as you can tell, they're not going to notice. They're going to go over here, maybe craft some things, you know, then go back out, not really notice anything, you know, until they see the flame right there. And by the time they see that, pretty much the wool's all caught fire it's it's already over they're not going to be able to stop it i mean they can go down there and try to stop it but as you can see that part's already done for then it's going to start getting up here and as you can tell the wool's going to catch fire really fast and as you can tell the house is completely going to burn down as soon as the first flame gets so as i'm i'm slowly just going to go up and show you guys that it does have a devastating effect and it's very it's slow but not slow you can also have a second dispenser if you'd like and have a more wide like have wool right under the, all, everything under here and as you can tell as soon as it catches fire you're pretty much over with it is it, it's done for because as soon as the ceiling catches fire you're not going to be able to stop that you're going to have to build up and by the time it hits the ceiling it's pretty much having this devastating effect because you'd have to climb all the way up here and start hitting everything and most people aren't going to have that enough time so pretty much it's kind of like a prank you can have this house but it's also going to catch fire and that's kind of like a trap and a prank at the same time because they can die from it but they're not really going to die but it's prank and a trap you know kind of somewhat so you guys get one prank and one trap I guess so this is a great way to trick your friends into saying oh you can have a, this house but there's gonna be nothing in it the only reason I added a bed and a chest is to make it look more you know realistic that you're actually gonna give them something and help them and then in reality you're just gonna take it away as soon as they start so as you can see it's pretty much over with the fires gonna completely destroy it so I hope you guys did like the uh, I guess one prank and one uh, trap and I hope you guys do like that so uh, if you guys do don't forget to like you guys can comment tell me I, I mean I've told you guys you guys can tell me to do pixel art or something I read the comments I may not post like you know I may not respond to you or anything but I do read the comments so if you guys do have a comment you want to put down please put it down I will read it and I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time peace